Hello and welcome to the Sports Pitch Podcast. I'm joined with Hamoudi Ashrafi. How you going? Khaled Ashrafi's older brother. Better looking one. Better looking brother. Yeah, it just happens. Stronger brother. Nah, nah. Better in every single way. Oh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> good yourself? Good, good. We've been talking about this for a very long time. Too long. Very long time. Too long, bro. Start the football podcast. That was start. meant to happen. 100%. It had to happen. And as you can see too, very, very... Proud yet sad Manchester United fans, but sad or not sad, this is my team. 100%. Good times and bad times. Stick with them. It is what it is. You stick with them. All right. So yeah, like I was saying, we've been talking about this for a very long time, and I was thinking of someone to get to do the football frenzy, and there was no one I thought better of than real, real football, by the way. Real football. Yeah, this guy yeah. he's a a rugby league fan, but uh, not really. You will drop it in a second for, uh, the, in a for the game for the in game. In a heartbeat. Yeah. I wouldn't even think for twice. the world game. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. All right. So. Yeah, it's good to have you on, bro. It's a pleasure. All right. Tell us, what have you done? Well, you've played some pretty high-level football. I have. For like your average person. You're not very average, actually. But no, no, I'm pretty average. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. I'm, not, I'm not, not the best. I played, I've been playing for uh, 17 years this year. So, wow. Well, since I was uh, 13. It's a very long time. Hey. Do the maths there. He's 30. <laughs> I don't look 30, do I? <laughs> no, I hope know. not. <laughs> no, you're right. I feel 60. The camera ages you like 20 years. But oh, like, God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I played. I played obviously club football when I first started. Yeah, and then got scouted to a team called uh, Colo Colo. They're a second division Premier League team of in in uh, South America. Yeah, I think I was the only Lebanese on the team with the captain's armband and did not speak a single word in Spanish. And where, where, where was this? Where was this? Um, so in in Sydney, where were they located? They were located in Warwick Farm across the Holiday Inn. All right, yeah. yeah, 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 the big field there. All right, cracker. And then what's that MPL? It was Premier League one, just beneath, yeah. no, just beneath MPL. MPL. We played state cup. We played against a lot of MPL teams. Yeah. So it was pretty much it was, it was there. All right, so we actually have someone on who knows what he's talking about. So you have played high level football. All right. Okay. And the only reason you didn't make it, I uh, tore my ACL. Tore his ACL, and then. Now is he in the studio shooting a podcast? <laughs> it is what it is, eh? <laughs> Full circle, some might say. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. And you've always been a Manchester United fan. All my life. Yeah. 100%. Thanks to Ronaldo. Thanks to Ronaldo. Yeah, big Ronaldo fan. Before we continue, Go. before we continue. Let's start, let's start with... Sorry to say, sorry, Chai, I love you and all and everything, and your team is your team, but Man United is the bigger brother. 100%. In saying so, I don't understand why this is on the bottom. No, no. And this one's on the top. I can't hack that. All right? I can't hack that. Go, go, do it for the people. For the for myself. Go, go. I don't care about the people, <laughs> I care about myself. <laughs> so they can see. <laughs> All right. So I feel much better about that, just to be honest. Yeah. Alright, is it better? Lucky you've you've been commenting. Lucky when you watch the no video, you're like, why is the why is the city jersey on yeah, top of the Yeah, Lucky there's like, no Liverpool jersey on this brick wall. No, 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 I'll never do that. I'm telling you. I'll never do that. Every team's up there except for yeah, Liverpool. Good. Even good. Chelsea, I can't stand Chelsea. Oh, they're not bad. D- but no, not Liverpool. Billion, a billion dollars in the 13th place. <laughs> City's up there, but not Liverpool. Oh, no, City's, All right. City's good. All right. All right, let's get into it, okay? So we're going to talk about the Premier League breakdown of what everything that happened this week. All right, let me just bring up my notes because we are very prepared here on the Sports Pitch Podcast. Prepared. So we start off with the game of the week. City-Liverpool. City-Liverpool. It was... You know, quote like said to be the game of the week. I don't think it was the game of the week, no, but it wasn't, it wasn't. when it comes to two giant clubs, as much as I hate saying it, very generic game. It was a very boring game. Very generic. Been, you know, give me anxiety because oh, that's how I see. I'm getting comfortable. Getting so far away. I'm about to have. There you go. No, get in there. I don't have know sex with the mic. That's it. Go hard. Anyways, all right. Yeah. So, City versus Liverpool. Yeah. Score ended one one. Yeah. Like you said, it it wasn't it's, it wasn't the classics between City and Liverpool. It was very a lot more cagey. Not a lot of chances were taken. Yeah, City played the uh, standard possession ball. Yeah, but... C- a lot of dominance. City City should have won the game. Oh, 100%. I think 1-1 one, one for Liverpool. 100%. 100%. It, it's a win. Yes. It's a win. It's but, a different dub for Liverpool. Well, you've seen what happened. Where he took off Klopp when they scored the equaliser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took off... Who was playing striker for him? Darwin Nunes. Yeah. And brought on uh, the Japanese fella. I forgot his name. Uh, the, the DM. See that? Professional. What's his name? I forgot his name. Anyway, but he brought him on. When we're watching the game, we know, yeah, we we know his name it. before that he even jumps on. When this turns on, you forget yeah. everything. Yeah. All right, so like we just said, very generic game. Yeah. All right? Two big teams. It was KG, but City did dominate. Absolutely. Every second. Very, d- did dominate. But Every so let's, second. Let's talk about the game. Haaland becomes the first player ever to score Freak. 50 league goals. Freak. Fastest. Not first. Fastest. 
freak. Okay, unbelievable. Goal scorer, one of the best in the world. I don't know how we didn't get the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, he should have got it. We already met, we spoke about it, me and the boys. And we were yeah, all but that was during your other shitty podcast about the NRL. <laughs> this is the real football. This is when we talk about the Ballon d'Or, the okay, fucking let's talk Ballon d'Or. He should have won it. Bro, they gave Messi everything, bro. It's not right. That's not right. They, Aaron that, Ronaldo scored 800 and something on the list for Ballon d'Or. That don't compare the two. Or because, the, the some, season they had. Or because some fuckwit journalist yeah. sit there and rank them. Yeah, yeah, it's stupid. They have stupid. no idea what the fucking sport. It's stupid. It's stupid, but Messi won it. Didn't deserve it. It was undeserved. No, 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 no. Right? Haaland should have got it. If it wasn't Haaland. Yeah. Fuck Haaland. Yeah. Give it to Alvarez at least. The bloke that won everything. the lot. Yeah, he won everything. A the, triple in the World Cup. Bro, he actually, his, what he done in the World Cup yeah. was, was second to none. Yeah, right after Messi. It. Look, Messi played insane in the World, World Cup. Cup. Yeah, 100%. He, he tore it up. Yeah. But what else did he do? That's it. All right, he's an the assist. Whole season, he's that, an assist for Yeah, PSG. but the whole season, like for PSG, yeah, okay, assist. But the goals, he scored a lot of goals, but not when he Haaland. Not to take credit away from him. Yeah, but what Haaland He's done. the best to ever do it. I'm a big Ronaldo fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we but, always have the argument. But Messi, Messi is, look, to me, is second to Ronaldo straight out. I don't give a fuck what you say to me. No, no, you just like Ronaldo more, personally. But as a player, you can't say Messi is not better than him. You can't. I like Ronaldo more as a person, 100% I do. But you look at football, it's clear, clear. He played for two, for two, two doesn't leagues, matter. Man. Doesn't matter. One of them was a farmer's league. Does not matter. Does not matter. How do you have more goals against Premier League sides? Like there are certain teams, like for example, Arsenal. Messi has more goals against Arsenal than Ronaldo does. Does he have that free kick against Arsenal? Okay, well done. Thank you. One goal? Yeah. So you should give him goat status that, for that? That goal listen, sits listen. in my brain rent free. This? Where Rio Ferdinand, Ferdinand, I watched I watched that live Monday. I was in year six or something back then. Or year seven, I think just into the seven. A while ago. And and, and Ferdinand on the podcast, and you can see when he walks yeah, up to him before the free kick, he, he goes to him, he goes to him. It's too far out, don't take yeah, the don't shot. Do it. And he completely disregarded his captain. Completely disregarded that. And whacked it. And whacked it in. Yeah. Listen, he's but he's, anyways. He's a free goal scorer too. Yeah, yeah. Back to it. Harlan yeah, should have yeah, won the World yeah, Cup. He should have uh, won, won, won the Ballon d'Or. He should have. Not the World Cup. No, had, uh, had, no way, no way. Nothing to do with the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. But anyways. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So he he gets the fifty goals in forty eight games. Insane. It's fucking unreal. Insane. If you sign a striker and he's like um the amount of goals he scores per game is one goal every two games. You're like, fuck, we signed the gun. Yeah. This oh, guy yeah. scored 50 goals in 48, 48 Premier League games. games. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So That's Andy Cole- like 1.2 goals a game? It's unbelievable. Give or take? Yeah. It's around there. It's fine. It's more than one a goal. Yeah. A game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. But Andy Cole done it in 65 games. That was a lot, that was the record before him. He beat the record by- Andy Cole. Yes. Talking back then. Yes. <laughs> Andy by, Cole. By 17, go- by 17 oh, games wow. he beat it. Who's going to beat that? No one. That's the record that's going to be I don't see anyone beating these guys' records. No. And he'll break the Premier League record 100%. Harry Kane would have done it if he stayed at Spurs. How old is he? 23? 23? 23, 24. He's got time. If he stays with City, he's going to do it. Bro, anyway. He's, he's, what is he, 6'5"? He's 6'4". He's an absolute tank. And he's, he's, bro, he's agile. He's so far. He moves like the wind. He's a rocket. He's a rocket. Can't dribble. But he can shoot. Who cares? Yeah, he can finish. Who cares? He can finish. Anyways. All right, so he scores the goal, puts uh, puts City up 1-0. For a long period of time, it was just City dominance. City dominance. Uh, it, was, it was, it was. I don't remember. I think, oh, there was one save Edison pulled out. I think it was against uh, Nunes where he dived. That's the only chance I yeah, remember Yeah, but Nunes always one. misses like Sitters. Well, you like, see, literally, when we were yeah. sitting there getting ready to walk into the yeah, g- watch the game, yeah. you walked into the house and you were like, Who's ready to watch Nunes miss an open goal? <laughs> you literally said I it. I did, I did. You I literally did. said it, all right? Oh, God. But then Trent And Alexander- then you got, you got my brother Carla running Nunes' dick like he's what? Yeah, like he's the greatest player of all time. He's one of the fucking greatest yeah, that's ever done it. Know. He doesn't know. Anyways. He doesn't. Has no idea. But it's Liverpool fans for him. Yeah. It's Rubbish. Cock ride. That's all they do. All right? Trent Alexander-Arnold equalises the 80th minute. What a goal. Yeah, what a go- fantastic goal. What a he was goal. Played in by uh, Salah, but the way he took the touch in his stride and just not hit me, it outside me. of the foot. He shouldn't be a back. Yeah, because that's what I was going to move on to, like him all game, the whole game. He was up there. Yeah, but he but when he was defending against Doku, he was getting cooked. No, no, when I'm saying he was up there as in he was striking. Put your phone yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is important that was topics. My bad. That was my bad. Anyways, <laughs> bro, he is, he is arguably, he has to be a, a, a attacking midfielder. He can't be a back. Midfield. Attacking midfield. He should be in the midfield. 
He can't be in he the back. He can't defend because Doku cooked him. Bro. Cooked him. Doku's cooking everyone. Yeah. And if you remember, the was it last week or the week before the verse in Auden? Yeah. Doku walked up to Anthony and he said in his interview, yeah. and he goes to Anthony, he goes, you're a hundred million dollar player. I'm 60 million. He goes, maybe if you go back and watch my YouTube highlights, you learn a thing or two. Yeah. He ate him. Confidence. Yeah, he ate him. He ate Confidence. Him. Where'd this guy come from? Belgium. I think Anderlecht. Wow. I think Anderlecht. And I think it was uh, re- like he was referred by company. Because company was managing Anderlecht at the time. Wow. So he's a gun. He's such a good dribbler. But it's just a matter of time before City wreck him and make him that passing merchant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they do. But you know what? Back in the days, those wingers, yeah, the way they dribble and run around the player and then look for your striker and shoot yeah. or pass, yeah. cross. Something United wingers don't do. They, they don't do that at all. Back in the days, that's how it was done. Yeah. Now it's the winger would run, 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 get to the corner post, turn around and pass it back. Yeah, that's what they do. That's what they all do. That's what Jack Grealish, when he was signed to City, before he was so, at Villa, he was so exciting to watch. Yeah, hey, bro. So exciting. His footwork was insane. Now what's he do? Takes to the byline, cross inside. Bro, City scores footwork, so many tap-ins. His footwork was insane. He was a freak. And he'd cut in on his right and shoot. Now, he nev- you never see that from Jack Grealish. Anyway, so Trent takes it. It was a beautiful goal. And then, if you remember, like when Salah had the ball, Gakpo made this beautiful run. And I love, like when I watch tapes play like this, I go, fuck, why can't you not do it? Like, we're so... That's not going to happen. We are so... It's not going to happen. In need of just runs, runs, make we're a build, run. Look, Gakpo, the, Gakpo made the run. He took the defender took with him. He took two defenders with him, bro. You remember? Two, yeah, we were talking I was about watching it. that, bro. We two talking defenders. About it. Took him with him it's, and it opened it up for Trent. But this is basic football. 100%. This isn't over the top football. 100%. It was uh, very, I'm going to I'm gonna go do something completely out of the box. No, no. he made a run. Yeah. Sucked in two defenders. Had all this, gave, gave all the space in the world to so, Alexander yeah. Arnold. All you had to do was touch and shoot. And it was beautiful. Insane. He'd done exactly what he needed. Insane. Opened up the space for him, shoots. 1-1, wow. that was in the 80th minute. They kept it late, but they got the draw. City and Liverpool 1-1. One, one. And it's always, always drama when them two play. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. at the end of the game, Pep Guardiola and... Um, Nunes. And Klopp shake hands. And then Nunes walks up to Guardiola, shakes his head, and then says something to him. And it was What on. did he say? I have no idea. I didn't research it. Usually I I'll jump no I'll I searched jump it up, it but you can't really tell. You couldn't really tell. No one like had a clear idea of what was said, but they looked like they wanted to kill each other. I, they did. All right. It, and was, it was on. That's how the game ended, and it you're like, on. God, I love it. Oh, best. When them two play, it's always fireworks. Best. All right. Anyway, let's move on. So that was City Liverpool 1 1. Aston Villa 2, Tottenham 1. What an AV, bro. Yeah, but what, let's talk about Tottenham for a second, right? So let, let, we'll go through the game, then we'll talk All about right. it. Look, the Celso scores, absolute screamer. Did you right? see that goal? Yeah. Even though it deflected? Yeah. It was still a wow. cracker goal. Cracker goal. Wow. Right? Suck shit, Martinez. Yeah. He, I can't <laughs> stand you, your girl. I love Martinez. I hate him. <laughs> he's just a hard cunt. I hate him. That's, and I love him. Bro, he's just a cocky fuckwit. I love it for him. Like, it, there's certain players that I hate if they do it, but this guy's come in since day one. He's been a flop then, and he's still a flop now. I love him. He's not fake, bro. He's real. Does whatever he wants. You're a Messi supporter. You're a Martinez supporter. Does whatever he wants. No, I think Messi's the GOAT. I said I'd rather Ronaldo. I like Ronaldo. No, no, Ronaldo's the GOAT. As a person. See, because you don't understand football. I do understand football. <laughs> you don't Let's know. not get started nah, on this. Nah, listen, listen. You might be a nerd when it comes to football. I'm a student of the game. You're a virgin of the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. So, Lo Celso scores a cracker goal. Absolute right. screamer, right? Pau Torres equalises. Well, what, a, what a goal by Pau Torres. It was very good. The header, the, it was perfect. But uh, but you know what? There was some disallowed goal, uh, offside goals. Yes, there was a few, three. Yeah, three for Tottenham, one for for. I don't have notes. This is all in here. Yeah, 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 I got them here. All right, but you didn't know the exact number. It was two for one for Son, two f- and one uh, Son passed it into the box, and it was it was offside. It was offside. Um, I can't remember. Hoiberg? No. No, no. Hoiberg scored one, but the leader play was offside. Yes, yes. Yeah, the leader play was offside. So anyway, three offsides yeah, yeah. to Tottenham, one. To, to Villa, but they were clear off sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pau Torres is such an underrated signing. What a signing. He's so good. When he, oh, what they're coming fifth. He yeah, they're, they're on fire. They're coming fifth. Absolutely on fire. Aston Villa. They are pushing. And uh, last season under Steven Gerrard, where were they when he left? Bro, bottom four. The bottom three. They, they, in a relegation scrap. Bro, they just, they just scraped through to stay yes. in the Premier League. No, Unai Emery came in and started changing it. What insane. Unbelievable. What a signing. Unai came in and started changing it. Got him into a fucking Europe, uh, into a uh, not not Champions League. What's the other one? Europa. Europa League. Yeah. Thank you. Europa League spot from fucking relegation. Yeah. 
And now they're literally sitting there battling for the top four. Have you seen the confidence Musa Diaby has these days? Yeah, but he he wasn't there last season. He was he was at Bayer Leverkusen. They signed him in the in the transfer window. But that's another player. Like why why aren't United seeing this? Uh, because they see they see Ericsson at sixty six years old. I'm always gonna go back to United because I am a United fan. That's where my Ericsson heart lays. But he, look look he, he has a I love I love Ericsson. But the hundred million we spent on that fidget spinner. Who? The one that kicks his feet, kicks his feet, and loses the ball. Yes. What? Oh, I can't say All that. Right. I would. Why? <laughs> I, I I hate him. Since the day they signed him, why I could, said why he's gonna flop. Why could we sign the RB? Because we're dumb for a fraction of the price. We're dumb. Anyway, let's get back to this game. I'm gonna start start to stop going. Because Ten Hag has to go. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Anyways, later. Let's finish through the games. All right. 60th minute, Ollie Watkins gets put on through on goal. Bro, what a Watkins, bro. Watkins is a gun. He's so underrated. He's so good. He's so underrated. He's so good. I don't see him I don't see him doing it for a top team. I don't see him being able to play I see it. possession based football. I see it. I don't see him playing possession based football. Bro, on the break. But but he's fuck very he's, one of the he's best. very consistent. Yeah, he's consistent. And that's when that's when a big team will pick him up and yeah, he will keep that no, consistency. I don't think so. I think I think he's a system player. I think the system works for him. I honestly what the do long believe balls? that. Huh? Long balls. Long balls and on the break. On oh, the break, he's unstoppable. Counters, long balls and on, on the break. Yes. He's a freak. He's a gun. He's, he's such a good striker. That, bro, I'd freak. love him I'd love him to sign for a top team just for him because he deserves it. And his story, he came from the like, very, like lower divisions, worked his way up, yeah. and then yeah. now he's absolutely I, killing and, it for Villa. Uh, no, no, one sec. Another signing for him. Who? Tillemans. Yeah, he's been on fire. Did you see that free ball he gave him? Yeah. No look free It was ball. beautiful. It was literally perfect. He looked down, seen Oli Watkins move up. And just passed and it. And just passed it. Yeah. You know Te- how hard that is? Telemans is a gun as well, but. From they, they, Their window, their transfer window, by far the best this, 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 they, this they, season. 100%. They did it correct. 100%. They, they, they correct. looked at where do we need to strengthen? Bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Right just, wing, a centre like, mid, and a, like, and a centre like back. United. That's bad. I love my team. Look, I love my team. But I'm. We needed a right winger. We go and sign one of the best right wingers on form at the time in Jaden Central. We play him on the left. Why? Why? I don't know. I, but United. But this is Ten Hag ball. This comes back to Ten Hag ball. Ten Hag ball, yeah. Don't tell me I'm wrong. No, no, you're right. It's it's it was his. He played him on the left. Thank you very much. He wanted him on the left, but anyway. And then he, he might be saying Green with the right, and he's killing it for Jet, what Getafe. Getafe, yeah. Getafe? But he's he. Do you see his goal? Freak goal! If you haven't seen it, I say Puskas contender. It's not Puskas contender anymore. There's no contenders anymore. After, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. after Starboy, you know oh, what I mean. My we'll talk, boy. Yeah, we'll talk about. It, we'll talk about it. Anyways, after. all right. So, like I said before, 60th minute, he scores the goal. Ended up be the winner. Tottenham three of their goals. They scored three goals. All of them were offside. Yeah, yeah. Well, there was one offside for Aston Villa. Tottenham's drop. They were undefeated. They were first. They were undefeated at one stage. Flying. Yeah. A few injuries. Ange ball, Ange ball was working. Ange ball was working, but Ange ball is very, very intense. Very. They lost that game to Chelsea where they had the two red the cards. Two red cards. Yeah. But when you're that fatigued. That's what it is, because he plays such a high line. Yeah. Such a, they had they had See where the centre backs are sitting? That's not, yeah. They they sit on the halfway line. If not another couple meters in. Yeah. They don't give a excuse me. They don't give a fuck. Oh fuck no. Cause when they had the two red cards against Chelsea, where was the defender standing? Bro, on the semicircle. They were still there. On he the semicircle. They didn't push back and no, say, no, 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 no. low block, let's just defend no, no. this. Hang, nah. hang out, hang out. No, nah, we're playing on the halfway line. I'm shooting from halfway. Pressure, <laughs> pressure. And then Chelsea just broke him See down. See you later. They haven't won a game since. I don't know, one sec. Raheem Sterling. Yeah. Raheem Sterling is honestly one of the most underrated footballers England ever. England, fucking put him in your team, bro. He's, what are you doing? Raheem Sterling is one of the most underrated players ever. I say prime Raheem coming back. Because he's good. He's never lost it. He was good at Liverpool. City signed him. They showed how much of a freak he was. That season, 17, 18, where he would not... He just All his goals were 90th minute winners. Yeah. I think it was 17, uh, He didn't score much. He no, but when he much. did... No, no, no. That season he popped off. Scored like, I think, 15, 16 goals in the league. He was their leading goal scorer, if I remember correctly. He was. At the time he was. Yes, yes he was. But that season, it was like, fuck, but wow. It, compare him to Liverpool... Yeah, he was so much better. Yeah, yeah, and then but, but this Chelsea sort of uh, this Chelsea Sterling we're seeing right now, it is prime. He's he's getting back there, but Chelsea aren't helping him. Like for example, we'll get there when we talk about Chelsea. Yeah. We'll get there when we talk about Chelsea. But Raheem Sterling, one hundred percent, my most un- underrated. Fucking England ever. has to sign him, but I don't understand. I don't play understand. him. Why don't you play him? You've got a gun. Play him anyway. 
Tottenham, they're falling slowly. Two losses on the, on the trot now. In the the way they've lost them, right? Like Ange didn't know what to do when he went two players down. <laughs> no had to keep playing what you're they doing. Have no idea. Keep doing what you're doing. Villa, who played, they played a low block against them. Let them have all the ball and then counted. Yeah, yeah. They couldn't do what anything. Against you, it. Can't, you can't. Yeah, they, they couldn't do anything about it. Do you see Tottenham finishing top four? Nah. Yeah, I don't see it either. Nah, nah. I do not. As see much it as either. I'd love to, because my mate, my mate Freddie supports them. Freddie and I go way back. Yeah. I hope he watches Freddie. But anyways, I only, I only like him because of Freddie. Yeah. And they're a good team to watch. Good. I only like him because of Freddie too. You like him when you meet him. Love Freddie. He's a good bloke. Anyways, I went to uni with him. Long story short. Yeah, yeah. They're a good team. They're exciting to watch. They're exciting they're to watch, I'm especially playing under him. I don't think they'll they're make top, to watch, I don't think they'll make top four, but top six maybe. Their squad depth is non-existent. Non-existent. They have no squad depth. No, they don't. Have That's you seen Aston Villa's squad depth? Uh, yeah, squad Aston depth? Villa's crazy. Have you seen how many midfielders they have on, crazy. on, on, on paper? Crazy. I think 12. They have crazy. I don't think Diego Carlos. Uh, Diego. Carlos. Carlos, yes, Diego Carlos. Yeah. I don't think he's been playing for no, him. No, he hasn't. He's a gun. I'll take him at United. He's got 99 pace on FIFA. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, a how you, that's how you know if he's good, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 99 pace. All right, but yeah, so that, nah, they've got that, but Tottenham do not. And then you see a few injuries, a, a couple of red cards, a few suspensions. Let's see you later. Bro, they folded. They break them folded. down. They break them down. All right, anyway. So we move on. Brentford, nil, Arsenal, one. That was lucky, bro. Very, very lucky. Very lucky. And very Kai, lucky. Havertz, Kai Havertz stepped up. He 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 done nothing the whole game. Nice. They but when they needed him, very crucial. Hundred percent. A Ramsdale. How many so, errors? So Ramsdale first game back after like two months out. I was talking about specific one. Thirteen minutes in, right? Off goal kick. Starts mistake off the goal kick, but very very lucky. Why? Very lucky. Brentford didn't pounce on it. I don't know. I don't, the error was... No, no, they pounced on it. Yeah, but they didn't score. Declan Rice. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. The player United was meant to sign. Yeah. Was there. Yeah, he was there. But he's, they still got the shot off. What a freak. They still got the shot off and they missed. But... But uh, do, you know, do you know how hard that shot was? To take. To take? Yeah. And then the power behind that shot? Uh, yeah, and, and then... Declan Rice... For Declan Rice to get there and stop it, it was unbelievable. And with what? In the thigh? Yeah. Must he done him. He done fucking things job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, forget Put some name. gloves on. What's his name? Ramsdale. Put some gloves on. Now, he's been dropped, right? I thought when he got dropped, it was very unfair. I really did. I don't know. What, did, what has he done wrong? You give him that much time off, it's going to show. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it showed. Oh, 100%. All right. But 100%. he did keep a clean sheet. He did. Thanks to his backs. Yes, 100%. The Arsenal defense midfield is, is very, very strong. Bro, Saliba. Saliba's a gun. Even Gabriel's a gun. Martinelli? Ma Martinelli is a forward. Is, oh, oh, go, sorry. Wait, I want to say it. Who? Never mind. I was going to call myself a... Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't but worry about who? Uh, Zinchenko, who are you talking about? Uh, Zinchenko done a uh, goal on save as well. Yeah, he did as well. Oh. They were very lucky. They were very mm. lucky against Brentford who were struggling this season. Do you know what Saliba said? What? When they versed Man City? Do you know what he said? No. Uh, for, uh, from memory, from memory. He goes, I was bored in the back. So I dribbled around Haaland. <laughs> he pocketed Haaland that game. Who even does that, he bro? He pocketed Haaland Who that says game? that? Saliba's a gun. If they versus each other again, yeah. Haaland's breaking his leg. Haaland's going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to break his leg. Right, so coming in. Yeah. Terminator's going to come in. And he's going to run yeah. past him. He's like, I'll be right back. He's going to try. Let's see. Because oh, Saliba, he fired up for it the first time yeah. they played. Let's see oh, how but hey, he's cocky to talk that much shit. Who's this? Saliba. Uh, Saliba, yeah. yeah. He fucking knows. He's so good. Maybe it's the only time it's going to happen. He's going to have to talk to He's going to live on that. Uh, look, you know what? I'm gunning. I hope Arsenal win the Premier League. I do too. If it's, Why? If it's because between City if, and them. If Liverpool win, they'll be... No, no, no. Fuck Liverpool. They'll be, they'll be equal to United. United's league like title, yeah. And if Man City win, that'll be four, four. Four in a row. And that'll be equal to United. Yeah. No, no, no. United's three. They would get the record. I'm, I don't want that happening. Yeah. So... No, I'd rather Arsenal win than them too anyway. As much as I hate, I'd hate to say it. I'd love it if United won, but you know, where we are right now... It's not happening. Arsenal. I don't see it happening for United right now. Nah, not right now. If they do pick up... I don't think we're... Close towards the January transfers, they do some, some nice boys, some league. nice I don't sales. think uh, Top four, I'll be over the moon. Yeah, same. Top four, I'll be over the moon. I don't know how we're sitting sixth. We'll get to that. <laughs> Crazy. On zero goal difference. They've won the last five out of six. Yeah. But how? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And the one <laughs> we lost... Bro, Here's Man City. Lost. Oh, in the Premier League. Yeah. Two out of the past seven. Copenhagen. And Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the Champions League. Yeah. How could I forget, bro? Uh, fuck. We'll get there when we go. We'll talk about Champions League, all right? 
Anyways, so Trossard scores a goal after Brentford keeper. He made uh, what's oh, I forgot his name. Makes a save and then the for the ball falls to Jesus. Headers it back in. Trossard scores offside by what millimeters? I hate the VAR. Mil- I was gonna bring that up after we talk about both offside offsides in Tottenham, offsides in 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 Arsenal, in Arsenal and uh, but like Jesus has scored. Yeah, Trossard's behind him. Yeah. Even if he's, it's bro, it's millimeters. He's beside him. It's millimeters. He's beside him. Yeah, it's millimeters. If you watch football 10, 15 years ago, that's a goal in the other week. Because if, if he was onside or offside, that goal, it was going in. It was going in. But it was the fact that it's literally millimeters. Just let it go. It burns me. Fuck off with your VAR. It burns me. Anyway, so. Hey, hey. And there's three of them in there. Yeah, yeah, that check it. And they still get some wrong. VAR's been fucking shit this season, bro. Oh, bro. Been so shit. Bro, we'll talk about that during the. Some trans uh, Champions League controversy, which oh yes, that was fucking right. Champions League VAR is the worst. Uh, if 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 this is how they're gonna be, scrap it. Yeah, yeah, scrap it. Get what the f- get it, get it, get it the fuck out of there. One hundred percent. Yeah, cause scrap VAR, sack that. Right, I miss the good old days when fucking handball goals would go in. You'd be there'd be controversy, but fuck, we don't have replay. Now they have fucking replay, still get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather it's fucking fucked, human fucked. error. I'd it's rather fucked. human error than actually looking at it on a screen and still getting it wrong. Bro, we've got that. what million dollar technology? Yeah, billion. Billion dollar technology. It's crazy. And it's still controversial. Yes, it's fucked. Well, anyway. Controversy barely happens. It's very rare in the, yeah, in the but it's the, it's been piling on. But it shouldn't happen. There's been so, so many. Not with this community. Not with this. The technology. Liverpool Tottenham game, Bro. the Champions League game that we're gonna talk about. Bro. It's been fucked. Anyways, next, next, what's, All what's right, going so, on? So that goal was scrapped offside again, like by millimeters. Kai Havertz in the 80th minute, like you said, he stepped up when he Arsenal came in needed him. He came he in did. clutch. Scores the goal, gets on the end of a sack across. They secure all three points. Arsenal go top of the Premier League table by a point, and I'm loving this because Arsenal f- sitting in first, yep. United sitting in sixth. Six points separates first and sixth. Literally, been a very long time since it's been that close. It's been a very long after time. after 13 games. Yep. When usually there's halfway eight, point. usually there's eight nine points. No, no. Usually more. Last year it was fifteen points. Yeah, it's way more. Yeah, last season, last season, last, last season, Arsenal and 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 uh, City just took off. There were nine points plus two games in hand. Yeah, Arsenal. Yes, and they still bottled it. <laughs> Poor guys, but yeah, Poor don't bastards. bottle it this season. Poor All bastards. Right? So Anyways. yeah, so it's it's exciting watching it. Anyway, it really is. It's exciting watching the Premier League this season. It is. Move on. Newcastle, Chelsea. Newcastle four. Chelsea one. Fuck me. Isak, bro. But yeah, but you go, let's just talk about you, Chelsea. You go from fucking 4 4 against the champions. For, bro, that was, bro, tip again, for tat. The treble winners. Tip for tat. The best team in the world yeah. right now. City. Arguably the best team in the world. They are. They are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, fucking as much as I hate them, you got to give them their, it is, it give is, them their it flowers. Is. They are the best team in the world right now. Chelsea went toe to toe with them yeah. and fuck up points. You thought they were going to win the game. Yeah. And then they come out the next Who's game. Who's that star boy that plays for him? The yeah. young one? It's to be uh, Man City youth. Ah, uh, uh, Cole Palmer. Yeah. yeah. He's, he equalised that with the penalty in the 90th yeah. minute. Very nice. Yeah. All right. Chelsea won. Newcastle four. Who Newcastle 100% good team. Yeah. But fuck back that performance up. I thought they were back. I thought fuck Pochettino's going to play in their football. Callum Wilson scored. No. Callum Wilson didn't score. Isak scored. Gordon scored the last one. Gordon... Fuck, what a, what a player. What a pl- I got him in my fantasy. What a fucking player. Unreal. I bought him in this week. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. Because he's who, such a good player. Who scored? Who scored? Because Gordon uh, scored. I've got it here. I've got it here. So you got Isak scored. Yeah. Gordon scored. Yeah. Uh, Jamal Lassell scored. Yeah. And who was it? Jolinton. After Jolinton. The, after the... He's aging like fine one. Who? Jolinton. Yeah. What's wrong with him? He's aging like fine one. Yeah, he's gone better with age. And he got better when they moved him from striker to CM. Yep. He got so much better. He was a flop. Bro. 40 million signing, 40 he, million pound signing. He is playing like he just started. Because he's, he's, he's signed as a striker. Freak. Signed as a striker for 40 million is before that, the takeover. So yeah. this 40 million for Newcastle was big. That's that's why, that's the oil money, cars. Well, oil, no, no, that you, was before oil money. They yeah, signed uh, him. When you, when you, uh, they signed him before, we're signing before that. Yeah. Right? We're talking about a team collectively. Yeah. They got good owners. Yeah. You get bonuses from these owners. Yeah. I, I didn't give a fuck what anyone says to me, but this happens under the table. 100%. When you get an owner that says to you, do your part and I'll do mine. You'll do your part. You're going to do your part. I want that Rolls Royce. Uh, bro. <laughs> I, don't I want, want that yacht. I want that Richard Millie. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's all I want. I want it. All right. So 
30 minutes in, beautiful play by Newcastle, swing the ball literally from one wing to the other. Isak, and then the bro. pass comes through the Isak, who just fucking so calm. Gets Ice one, cold. One on one with Sanchez, bang, buries Ice it. Ice cold. Literally the way he took it. It's too good. It's too good. Unbelievable. And, and who, so he went from one wing all the way to Gordon. Yeah. Cuts in on his right, cuts in again, plays it beautifully through the Isak. That's what a winger should do. 100%. But Gordon, because you... The thing about a winger, you've got to be unpredictable. Of course. You've got to be unpredictable. Look, let's just say you get the ball eight, nine times a game. Yeah. Two of those times, cut in and try to shoot yourself. Yeah, do something different. I don't mind. 100%. Take it to the byline one time. Cut in. Do what have you want. a shot. Pass it. Dribble. Step pass over. It back. Pass it back. 100%. But your role is to provide to this striker. 100%. As a winger, 100%. I played left mid literally my entire life. Yeah. Up until the last couple of seasons, age. Age <laughs> doesn't do it well for yeah. you. My role was take on the last defender, look up and pass. Yeah. I didn't give a fuck what's, what's I didn't give, uh, you didn't give a fuck what happens. Yeah. It's striker, it's all up to strike after that. It's his responsibility. Whether he gets the ball or not, it's all on him. He's a striker for a reason. It's very simple. Gordon played it to perfection. So good. Cut in, I thought he was going to shoot. I thought so too. And then he, beautiful pass and then Isak, one on one. He's good so luck. Good, good luck. Was right? he at 19, 18? No, no, no. He's older than that. He's around 23. He's around Haaland's age. He's been so around good. for a while. He was at Real Sociedad before they signed him. Very highly touted. And then he's come to the Premier League and fucking... Dominated. He's playing like it's nothing. Dominated. All right. Yeah. 10 minutes after the goal, Raheem Skirling scores a beautiful free kick. Prime Raheem. Fucking... He put it top bins, cuz. If there was a top bins, he put it in the top bins of that. This is someone aging like final. That was beautiful. He's so Yeah, good. but the team around him isn't helping. Rubbish. Him. Absolutely. A billion rubbish. dollars? Yeah. Fuck me there. You might as well just throw it down the fucking in the bin. Give me fuck give me a meal. Just yeah. one meal. <laughs> I'll give him more than that. Come on, man. I'll try. At least you'll try. At least I'll try. So he scored what a beautiful free kick, bro. Beautiful free kick. And then after that, the floodgates open. Jamal Lassell scores in the second half. Head gets down the headless chicken seal. Like, uh, kick kick pass, kick and chase. Yeah. I swear to God. But it gets on the end of a of a Anthony Gordon cross. Second assist for the He's game. He's so good. He's so He's good. So good. All right, and he hands in. Game opens up. When he scored that, that was literally it. As soon as they went 2-1. Yeah, yeah, heads down. But that's, that's yeah, like you just said, down. right? After that goal, their heads dropped. Yeah. They're like, 2-1, game's over. What the fuck are you talking Try. Give it a fucking crack. Bro, game's not up. It's fucked. They stopped that's giving fucked. a fuck, right? Off kickoff, Thiago Silva makes, Thiago Silva makes no mistakes. It's very rare. He makes no. I can't remember. I was so cut with that shit pass. Yeah, it was, you know, but even him. It makes, he, him look, it makes him look so shit. His touch as well was rubbish. I used to watch I used to watch Silva back in the days. AC Milan? AC Milan, yeah. bro. Freak. Yeah, he was a gun. Even at PSG, even, even at, at Chelsea, PSG, cars. Bro. At Chelsea, they signed him bro. as a 33-year-old. They won the league. He's not normal. He's not normal. He makes a mistake. Joel Linton just jumps on it, scores a goal. And in the 72nd minute, Reese James gets shown a yellow card from bringing down Anthony Gordon. Yeah. Caused a riot. Because Anthony Gordon, they did not know what to do with him. Yeah. This guy was at Everton. I used yeah, to yeah, think... Yeah, yeah. And Everton fans loved him. Like Gordon? They were, yes, they were calling uh, him like the biggest Goodison thing. Park was just all Gordon. Yeah, but they used to call like the Have next big thing. Have you seen the Goodison Park with Gordon? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fucked. They loved him, cuz. That's fucked. They were saying that he's like the biggest thing since Wayne Rooney. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, calm yeah. the fuck down. Uh, bro. I watch him play. What the fuck he's talking about? Now this you know was, why. This literally introduced now me to Anthony why. Gordon. Now you know why. I thought he was all right. Dude, nah, bro, the guy's a gun. When you see young players come on, especially when they... He's not that young, but he's, he's, he's still young, considered young. He's still considered young. Do your young. research. He's a gun. Just, just go look at his highlights. He's an absolute gun, Free. right? So he, he, he ends up scoring the last goal. Beautiful, beautiful goal, right? Yeah. Cuts it on his right, puts it in the bottom corner. It was beautiful, making it 4-1. Newcastle. Bro, he's, he's, bro he played against him like he's playing Sunday. A hundred percent. He was kicking it, right? Yeah. Newcastle move, what are they, fourth now on the table? Newcastle? Yes. Yeah, no. fourth, yeah. No, they're underneath us. They're under seventh. They are. They're the ones that trips me out. They're seventh, right? Yeah. So they, they keep up to... Tra uh, yeah, they're seventh. Right under us. 23 points. And where are we on? 24. Zero hey, goal difference. Zero, zero goal difference, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, no. Who was, who's third? It's Liverpool. Liverpool. Arsenal, Man City, Liverpool. Tottenham. Aston Villa. And Tottenham. Oh, uh, Tottenham are fifth now. And then United. Fuck me. Yeah, yeah. Tottenham dropped off hard. Really bad. Tottenham dropped off hard. All right, then we move on. Manchester United three... Everton nil. It feels good. Starboy. It feels good to be I, on the winning side. This team, Three minutes in. This team dictates whether my week is fucked yeah. <laughs> or whether my week is good. I walk into the gym with the biggest smile on my face. We Listen, we do play Galatasaray this, today. We're going to get anal. This is, so let's just... 
<laughs> Let's just enjoy it while we're here. I know. I don't mind. I don't mind. Because my star boy, our star boy, he, bro. Well, three minutes in. Well. So the ball comes. It was a, it was a long pass across the field from. I think I've watched it about 600 times. I've seen it a lot of times. I've seen it a lot I've of times. I've seen it so many different angles. And there's so many times I don't even want to watch it. Have but you it seen pops up with the Peter Jury commentary? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Off its head. Beautiful. Peter Jury is a fucking poet. <laughs> yeah, Shakespeare. He's modern day Shakespeare. Shakespeare. All right. Anyway, ball gets across from. Who passed it? Lindelof? Uh, uh, no, Dalo. No, no, no. It was Lindelof to, to, uh, to Rashford. What a pass. To Rashford. What a pass. Beautiful. Cross the Bro. field, beautiful. Eyes up football. Yeah. You love to see it. But when when you get a pass from left back to right wing. Yeah, from the left side of the field. On an angle. It's so hard. When you get it and pitched perfect. Yeah, it's better than it's orgasmic. Bro, it's better than sex. Me dead. It's unbelievable. Insane. Right? And watching it, I'm like, fuck yeah, but we what usually we pass. don't do anything with no, it. No, 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 no. No, it just dies. And Rashford Dallow, gets the ball. Dallow plays makes that run from the back. Makes that beautiful run. He links up with him. Rashford does his role as a winger. Yes, passes the ball for once. <laughs> links up. I'm Doesn't try it. to cut in the No, shoot. it was beautiful. And Dalo literally puts his head up when he's on the wing. Yeah. Like I said before. Cross. Get the cross. ball in the middle. And let the strikers do their thing. Yeah. Whether they get it or not, it's not his responsibility anymore. His responsibility now is to run back. Yeah. That's it. Talk us through the goal. The Man. ball comes across. Ganacho is watching. He had to run back six steps. I counted these steps. <laughs> Seriously, six steps. He had to run Fuck back me. six yeah. steps. That's how bad the cross was, by the way. It was. It was. It was, it was fucked. It was way behind. It was him. the worst cross in history. <laughs> but Ganacho, bro, what a fucking bicycle kick! Wow, that was unbelievable. Off its head. I didn't watch a game, right? How many times did I tell you about Ganacho when he first started? You know, but I, I agree with you, cuz I think he's a very good player. No one believed me. And uh, no, I agreed with you. He's a very good player. Even Matoma. All right. No, Matoma is someone that you told me about before I seen him play. 100%. But right? well, fuck Matoma. Let's talk about... Uh, Let's talk about Star natural. Boy, all right? Wow. Because he... He runs back six steps. Talk about it. He launches himself in the, in the sky. All right. He reached the first level of heaven. And does a scissor kick. It was beautiful. Perfect connection. It was beautiful. Oh, no, 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 it was a bit of shin. But it was ninety percent full. It was. 100%. It was better than the Rooney one. Yes, yes. Better definitely. than the, I reckon it was better than the Bale in the in the Madrid Champions League. I I reckon because Bale, you yeah, know what it Bale is? Bale took was, two steps back. Yeah, and but then Bale, Bale was in front of the goal. This was he was on an angle. He was on the angle on yes, the, on, on literally the left maybe a couple field. yards in from the eighteen yeah. yard. And for him to score top bins, it was unbelievable precision. It's up power. there with one of the best Basel cookies I've ever seen. Bro, the him, thing, Bale, Ronaldo. That's it. Yeah, very simple. Him, Bell, Ronaldo. That's it. That's when you simple. talk about greatest ever bicycle kicks. I, I watched him the Bell Rooney Ronaldo. scissor kick live. Yeah. With the nanny cross yeah. deflected off the back yeah. and then Rooney. Bro. Fuck, what a guy Nacho. Bro. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Wow. It was unbelievable. Anyway, so let's just get to the rest wow. of the game because we, we could talk about this for an hour. Anyways. All right. We didn't Not have a shot on target until the 55th minute. Nothing happens <laughs> except for Everton taking shots from the halfway line. <laughs> they just were shooting. Hey. On site shoot. Pumping. They were just shooting. Just shot. Because they had 24 shots that game, Everton. Yeah. You nodded. 14 of them were outside the box. You nodded had their second shot. Right, The first shot on target, Fif first shot and first shot on target was on the third. And the second the shot was in the 51st minute. In general. Yeah. On target, off target was in the 56th no, minute. No, 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 no. It was the first shot on target. Was in, was in the 51st minute. 50, yes, it's right. 51st minute. Yes. What the fuck? Yes. It was crazy. So what happens is Martial gets brought down in the box. Referee runs up and gives the yellow card to Martial. VR tell him, hey, mate, you want to go get checked out? Which if that wasn't United, I'd be so pissed. But because it was United, yeah, fucking go Let check it. Let us Yeah. All right. Go check that. He goes, checks it. Cliff Hill. It was a foul. Cliff Hill. It was a foul. Right, Cliff Hill, he came Ashley in. Young trying to play the innocent yeah. damage. You know, come Ashley on, come on, Ashley Young knows what cause. he's doing, cuz. United forever. In his heart, in his yeah. heart, United. All right. Brought him down, simple as you like, penalty. But what I loved about that was Bruno Fernandes. Um, oh, you know, you are right. You know what? 51st minute was the, that all happened. Yeah. 56th, there was the shot finally That's was taken. Shot. Yes, <laughs> yeah. all right, so I agree. So it was longer. It was, bro. So there's 52 minutes between shots. But what the fuck's going on? On target. I don't know. Anyway, listen. Bruno runs across. Usually he's our penalty taker. He yeah. grabs the boys like Tarash with coming. You need a goal. You need to put your confidence back on the table. Here. Take it. This is Where the fuck have you has this gone? Yeah, it's finished. Where did, where'd this go? It's finished. What happened to him? I don't know. Because he no wants idea. to cut in and shoot every fucking time he has and, the ball. And he's easy to read. Because oh. they know that's what he's gonna do. He's not Iron Robin. No. He's not Frank Ribery. No, no, he's not. 
He's not, but even them, they used to cross and pass and you used to keep you guessing. Keep you guessing. But when every time Owen Robin cutting on his left. Yeah, that was a goal. They know it's he's shooting. Yeah, but they couldn't stop it. But stop me if you can. Yeah, but don't compare Rashford and Robin. No, you can't. It's two different players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different skill level. He tries everything. to be like that, but he can't. I know, I know. But How about anyways, let's next time. We yeah. have no time for that <laughs> for that shit right now. Anyways, next, next. So Bruno gives him the ball. Rashford steps up, buries it. Hopefully he can build on it. Hopefully, Hopefully he can build on it. Is that his first goal of the season? I think it is. For in the league, yes, I yeah. think it is. In the league. Which is crazy. 13 games in. For someone who scored, what, 19 goals, 19 last, goals season? last season? Or 18? It was fucked. What, 23 in all competitions? He's been dead. No, way more. Oh, way more in all 28 competitions. 28 in all competitions. Yeah, way more. It was all right. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had a good season last yeah, season. Yeah, a gun season. This season has been quiet. 75th minute, Fernandez plays in Martial. I don't write him off, but. Who? Rashford. No, I don't write him off either. 100% I don't know. Because he can switch it on. Yeah. But right now he's just gone through a rut. He's, he's, I don't know what's going on. He's gone through I a rut. All right, 75th minute, Fernandez plays in Martial. One away with Pickford, dinks him, 3 0. Yeah. I love the fact that our three starting forwards scored a goal. Yeah, fucking enough. It was beautiful. About time. Martial, that was his ninth goal against Everton. He loves scoring against them. Fuck. Aye, aye. And in Goodison Park. Yes. Ninth goal against Everton. This you is Martial hard, we're talking about. Do you know about. how hard it is? To play in, Go- in Goodison Park, yeah. yes, it's a fucking fortress there. I think it's second to Enfield. It's up there. That's it really is when it comes to like that environment, environment where they I fucking it's second shit to at you. Yeah, it's up there. It's fucked. It really is up there. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then quickly talk about the stats with United: twenty-four shots for for Everton, six of them on target; nine shots for United, four on target; ten shots from Everton coming outside the box compared to two from United. So a lot of our shots were yeah. we built up playing yeah, shot yeah, from yeah. the box, right? They were shooting a lot just on site. Right? Oh, but the second they saw the goal, they yeah, shot. they shot. But, but I did not do feel. Do you blame them? Uh, yeah, well, Anana pulled up. He's made a lot of good saves. Hundred percent, he did. He made a lot of good saves. No. And Anana right now is leading the Golden Glove race. He is five clean sheets. Five clean sheets. But you give him enough games. But it makes no keep sense. Him. Yeah, th- no. You know what it is? It makes sense why? Because when United lose, we get hammered. That's why. When yeah, we yeah, win, yeah. we win one 0 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Getting a 3 0 win, and I'll take it. That's a lucky win. Bro, no, no, this, not this Everton game. No, no, like, the Everton game, we were the better team. Yeah, yeah. They had a lot more shots, but we controlled the game. Oh, there was yeah, not yeah. a single point in that game where I said, I feel like we're going to lose. We've got a this. very important player. What? Oh, yes, thank God we didn't finish because, my God, have my children, please. Please. Kobe Mainu. Kobe Mainu. Hey, remember man the, of the match. fucking name. Man of, I called him the day of they played. And I go, did you see that fucking debut one? He's like, that I go this Manu Manu fucking I don't know what the fuck his name is but Manu, you see bro. the way he played Manu he he in in, in the uh, off season he held from midfield up onto sh- back yes he was a gun and he, up he was a fucking gun he had it down fucking pat he was unbelievable give him some more time he was yeah hundred percent watch he's gonna be a freak unfucking he is gonna be a freak wow how about Absolute the goal freak. on clearance yeah and, and it's not just any goal on clearance. The player was side by side to him, stuck to him. Like, right. uh, what's his name? Uh, Cavalloon was beside him. Yeah, and he, and he yeah, 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 and he uh, powered him, overpowered him, overpowered. Cousin, in, in his, these are his, these are his stats. Fifty-seven minutes, right? He had seventy-six touches. Wow. Fifty-seven minutes. He had seventy-six touches. I, I, ice cold. Can you listen to what I just said? I fuck me, dude. Fifty-seven minutes, seventy-six touches. That's fucked. That's literally give me the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me the ball. Yeah, yeah. I'm dictating. Give me the ball. Control the whole game. Forty-six passes, right? What's his ninety-two percent accuracy or eighty-two percent? Eighty-two percent accuracy, right? Playing a deep role, and all his passes was fuck. It's a f- breath of fresh air when you see a midfielder not passing back but trying to play in between Bro, the lines. And it's not only he was moving off the ball. Yeah, that's right. Yes, a lot of movement. And fuck, when they got caught out of position, he's sprinting back. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Remember the fucking name. Remember he's fucking he's eight, What is he, 18? Let me just quickly bring this up. 18 years old. Wow. Kobe, Manu. Remember the fucking name. He's going to be a United legend, 100%. Oh, yeah. 100%. I'm going oh, early, yeah. but he's going to be a United legend. Oh, we're running his dick hard right now. Yeah, 100%. But he's gonna, next game, he's going to come out red card. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx him. All right. Move on. Last game I want to talk about, because this, for me, was the game of the round. This one. What, Luton, Luton versus Crystal Palace. All right, I wasn't going to talk about it, but it looked really good. 70th minute was... Very nil. exciting game. It was 70th minute, it was nil-nil in the 70th minute. Yeah. But it was back and forth, back and forth. Luton, Luton scored the goal. Took the lead. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. 
Alisa comes out of fucking left nowhere. foot dream shot, bro. Because what a fucking goal! I slipped foot as my first. This was my game of the week, Wag, just because the end. Yeah. And why are you just trying to slip in that you're a left footer? We get it, cuz. You've seen me play. You, you played are, with you, me. You're not bad. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, this fucking goal was off its head. Wow. And the way he shushed up the Luton town, yeah. town uh, fans. fans. I love Luton, bro. They're such a small club. I was so happy they won. I was very happy. I they was won. so happy they won. I just hope they don't go in relegation this year. Yeah, me too. I, I want to see more up. of them. I want them to stay up. I want to see them build. I love the small clubs. I want to see them build. I yeah. want to see them make just money. Just like, same as Bournemouth when they came yeah, up. Yeah, I wanted bro. them to stay for yeah. a while. while. Like back Same in the days, it was Portsmouth. Yeah. Or oh, Coventry. No, no, bro. Fucking Portsmouth came in. They had money. They bought everyone and they lost the money. Now they're gone. Uh, but even, this is different. These guys have Swansea, no money. Like Swansea. Yeah, like yeah. Oh, those, uh, with me too? Yeah, like those teams. Those what teams. Team. I love when they come in first season, yeah, and scrape through. Second season, they get better, they build, yeah. and like five, six seasons down the track. Yeah, back they get relegated. <laughs> <laughs> but while it lasts, it's But while it lasts, like make the most it's of like it. Like Leicester were the team that took it to the next level. <laughs> Won the league, then they get relegated. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, fuck so he, so this, all I say, this is my game of the week, like I was saying. This is my game of the week. Not because of the whole game, but literally the last 20 minutes was so Insane. jam-packed. The last Insane. 30 minutes was just action. But Luton Town's all high balls. Long ball, long yeah, ball. Long ball, long ball, 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 they play Brexit football cards. Yeah. Hard tackling, <laughs> long ball. They've got the uh, six foot five striker. Break your leg, just That's walk it, it off. 100%. <laughs> just walk it off. Get the magic sponge We, we have no subs. <laughs> yeah, nothing. You got, got an got orange boy and That's it. That's it. All right. So five minutes to go. Luton get the winner. It was fucking scenes, right? Yeah, it was hectic. Yeah, it was, it they was beat fun. Crystal Palace. So we were a good team. 2-1 Luton win. And then we'll move on to the games left in that round. So Forest, two, Brighton, three. What Sheffield, Brian? yeah, Brighton and Guns. I love watching Brighton. I know, you'd love them. They're like your second favourite team. No, oh, it's Wolves for me. Oh, uh, the Wolves? Yeah. yeah. But I know you love Brighton. Salabria's goal, bro. That was a cracker goal. That was a cracker Against goal. Against Tottenham. Yeah, yeah, that was a cracker goal. The volley, the touch, and then Tottenham the... was winning 1-0. That's when they lost their first game. That's their first loss. No, 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 no. They came after the Chelsea game. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah came after. Came after the Chelsea game. Sure. Yeah, Chelsea was their first loss. And then they've lost... Two in, three after, two in a row after it. Anyways. Yeah, so... What a goal. Forest Brighton. Forest two, Brighton three. Sheffield one, Bournemouth three. Burnley one, West Ham two. And Fulham three, Wolves two. All right, so that brought up the uh, the Premier League. Yeah. All right, it was a crazy round of football. Some crazy goals scored. Insane, like insane. It was the a good two week. that I think of, 100% Garnacho and uh, Olise. Yeah. But... It was a good guy, Nacho, mate. It was cracker. It was just give cracker. him the award. Yeah, he's gonna win it. He's I don't like. There's been. It's not a contender. It's it's give give him the. Award. It's done. It's done. Give him the fucking award. It's done in. Well, the, I think is this. This is gonna go to next season because they've already handed out the Puskas awards for yeah, this. Yeah, this is at the end of. Twenty twenty four. Twenty twenty four. Yeah, so he's still got eleven months. No guy's gonna be better. Absolutely than that. not. No guy's gonna be. I better didn't give that. a fuck. What, I didn't, even the Mbappe halfway go in the in the no, no, Euros. It's, it's not like it. No, no, different. It's different gravy cars. That goal was unbelievable. The way All you right? hit it, bro. Wow. Yeah, it was crazy. Bro, yeah, anyway. it's, it's tough, we can't keep going back to it. I love you. This is what I didn't... Because two United um, fans shouldn't be doing a podcast. <laughs> I swear to God. All we're going to talk about is the one good thing we do all season. Uh, fuck we're going to stick to what? it. Yeah. <laughs> fuck him. If you're a Liverpool fan, click off. No, I'm joking. Stay on. We love you. All right. Uh, Champions League. City 3, Leipzig 2. Bro, what a game. Crazy game. What a game. Crazy game. Let's talk about it. A Penda double. Bro, the way he turned Ruben Dish. The first goal where he was just passed through and it was just pure pace. Literally. The Outrun second, the whole backs. Pumped him. One on one with Edison. Pumped him. He goal. put it past him like it was nothing. Like nothing. But the second goal, that's the one he turns Ruben Diaz, who's a gun. I think we can all agree Ruben on that. Diaz? Yes. Ruben Diaz with Ruben Dish. Ruben Dish. Because I'll say he's one of the top three backs in the world at the right now. I want to say in the world. I'll say in the Premier League, yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he's good. He's fucked. Yes. And he the way he turned him inside him. out. Bodied him. He he used he fucking stood him up strength and then bang exploded. Looked up, dropped his shoulder, turned Beautiful. him inside out, shot goal. Beautiful. One on one with the keeper. Beautiful. And I he thought I it. thought there's no way Edison's gonna be beaten two times in a row the same way. I thought Something. RB has made it. Yeah. I thought it was game over. I thought they've made it. Half if time they win two this nil. game, two so Half time was two nil. They'll be coming second in their group. And they've made it to the Champions League. No, no, they they, they are second in their group, but they would have, that's it, they're done. They, they would have confirmed them. They confirm it. Very simple. Yes. Then fucking, I don't know what Pep speaks to his, his boy. He gives him steroids. 100%. I swear to God, something. They're, well, they're wrong. Something, they come out, Haaland scores, 
Foden scores a double. No. No, who scored the last Alvarez. one? Alvarez. Alvarez, that's right. Sorry, my bad. Yes. This time boy. Yes. All right. He Foden. pops off in Champions League. He pops off in any big game. Any big game he any pops big off. Game. Wow. He's there for the big game. Yeah. 100%. Alvarez is a gun, right? Uh, uh, yeah, so Haaland gets his goal. Um, standard. Who I th- he's he's got a Champions League record is fucked. He's got I think uh, ten more goals in games. Uh, fifty goals, forty games. It's something crazy or like 58 that. Fifty-eight. It's something and crazy like that. It's, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. He's coming for Ronaldo's record. I don't think he'll get it. Very hard. Very hard. But if he can continue on this track, he'll get it. How long are they going to be on the high? Well, they are going to get relegated or should get relegated for their cheating. We have no time. We don't. Let's not we open that. Let's not open that door. <laughs> if that's the case, bro, they should be dropped at least six divisions. Yeah, yeah they should but, be. But let's just if for Everton next... kept for one for one breach of financial play a pair. Uh, one breach. Financial uh, play. Un- unfair play. One breach. Twelve points. Twelve points. These guys have a hundred and something. So that's a thousand two hundred points minimum. Do you know who they're gonna play with? Sunday league. <laughs> yeah, they they're gonna play you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. But anyways, let's see how that goes. Three, two, they win. We move on. PSG, Newcastle. PSG won. Newcastle won. This one is a lot to talk about, right? Newcastle take the lead. Who scored the goal for him? Didn't write it down. Isak. <sighs> yes, it was Isak. It was Isak. Yeah. Isak. Yes, I got the game in the league mistaken for that. Yeah, so Isak scores. Very, very calm. A hundred percent. Hey, look, they didn't deserve that win. Who? Newcastle. Yeah. <sighs> On the run of on the run of play, it wasn't. They were playing away. They were playing away. Yes, they beat them before. They beat them in Newcastle. They did. PSG did have a thousand shots. Bro, but was 73 percent possession. So seventy three percent possession of PSG. Let's bring up the shooting stats, right? 30, 20 something to, okay, to 30, three. So, so thirty one shots to five. Seven of those thirty ones were on target. That's twenty two percent shot accuracy. That's fucked. That's so bad. From their stri- from no, no. Kola Moani. Yeah, okay. Allowing that many shots is fucked. Yeah, yeah. But fuck your strikers have got to do their job. Uh, uh, to have Mbappe and only have 22%. And to score your to score your equaliser. As a pen. As a pen, that shouldn't have been a pen. That shouldn't have been a pen. No, no way. If anyone says that's a pen. You don't know what football is, cuz. Get the fuck out of football. Yeah, you don't know football. You're ruining the game. That was not football. You're ruining he's the game. He's running, his eyes are up. His eyes are on the ball. No, he wasn't even looking. It was, it was no, 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 on, on the, the defender. On the defender. defender. He was in the field of play, like he was on, he was, bro, it was such a natural position. Yes. That you can't get more natural than that running. It was, bro, I see shit that happens in my league. That's Division 3 now. Yeah. That gets fucking, no, no penalty, no nothing. And they're giving penalties to this For shit. That, yeah, it's bullshit. That's VAR, fucked. VAR. VAR. That's we, said, we spoke about it earlier. I got to scrap it, bro. It's fucked. It That's really fucked. is fucked, all right? So 73% possession, 27% to Newcastle. It's all about money, Ali. 100%. PSG remaining like that, 1 1, 1 2 3. It's all about money. Bro. 100%. And uh, that kept PSG on top of their, on, yeah, on top of their, uh, their group. And it was very unlucky. That is the group of death. No, sorry, Dortmund. Dortmund went, moved to first in that group. But that is the group of death. It is. Newcastle could have secured, not really secured it, because they're literally. So, Group F, right, is Borussia Dortmund on 10 points. They're the only one that's clear now. Yeah. They've, they've made it to the next round. PSG are on seven. Newcastle are on five, Milan are on five. Newcastle had to win. They did. And they should have won if it wasn't for that call. All right. Move on to the net, the other game in in, in, uh, in Group F, Milan versus Dortmund. Only thing I've seen with that game was that penalty that they missed. Milan? Yeah. Yeah, so Giroud got, had a penalty. It was pretty early on in the game. The bloke has to retire, bro. Because he's still doing it. He's playing fucking keeper. They put him as a keeper one of the games. Yeah, because <laughs> that keeper got, my name got red carded. All right, and then you got, so the, the the Group F game, Olivier Giroud had that penalty. Missed. Missed. Actually, you know what? It was a good Keeper save. Saved it. Very good save, Very right? Save. By uh, Koble, mm-hmm. the Dortmund keeper. He's a gun keeper, by the way. Very yeah. underrated. Very, uh, but it's not talked about at all. No, no, no. He's very at underrated. All. Yeah, very underrated. Right? That gets saved. Bruce Dortmund go down the other side of the field. They get a penalty. Royce scores it. Fuck, I love Royce. I love him. I love Royce. And you do talk about players that fucking have loyalty. Royce. Royce. I love him. Not Every time he's, mm, <laughs> he had his time. He went around. He's all right. But Royce, Little whore. he stuck to it. <laughs> he stuck to it. All right. He scored the goal, and then fuck, it was a gorgeous goal by um, the right winger from Chakwizi. 
from AC Milan. He cuts in onto his left. I love him. He's a good player. I love him. He's such a good player. He's a pace merchant. Bro. He is. He is. It's all. So it's fun. all about pace. But he's, he, that's he's, what he done. He's all pace. He literally gets to the like. He, it's a pretty tight angle where he took the shot from. Bro. Puts it bottom corner. Beautiful. And then Dortmund after that just opened up. It was um, Adiemi scored. I can't remember the last player. Adiemi's a young boy, bro. Very young. I think he's 20, 21. I saw, honestly, he's a big core, but I say he's on the same level as Bellingham. You're off your tits. That's what I say. You're off all your tits. You have no idea. Why are we doing this episode? Wait, wh- wh- why not? The Bellingham and Adiemi. Why not? Because that's not. like honestly comparing Messi and Ronaldo. <laughs> Fuck off, <God. laughs> What the fuck's wrong with you? Cause no, no, Adiemi no. is a freak. Have you seen his highlights? Yes, because yes, I've seen him play. Oh, look, I understand. Don't Madrid, Perry, don't Madrid are being carried no, no, proper. No, no, no. Yes, proper. Madrid. Yeah, yeah. By Bellingham. We're talking about the Galacticos. Yes. Proper Madrid. Yes, Madrid. He's getting carried by Bell- single handedly by, yes. by uh, Bellingham. Single handedly won him El Clasico. I reckon Adiemi can do it. No, cuz he's nowhere near. He's not on the same level. I love him. You love him, but he's not on the same level. Oh, maybe because I love him. I'm saying there's levels. Know. You I bring him, you him. put him in Ganacho's level. I'm a bro. Maybe he's a bit better than Nacho. I'm not gonna lie. I think he's better than Ganacho. Yes, but he's not fucking. He's he's cracked. He's not. He's not Bellingham. He's nowhere near that level. And it's two players that play. They link up. See, okay, crazy. Bellingham is he a, is he a future Ballon d'Or winner? Bell- oh, Bellingham. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Adiemi. No, he's uh, not. The There's no way. Uh, I think I'm writing his dick out. Yeah. You I like was, him? I withdraw that statement. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Get him in the comment section. No, right? don't for fuck me like th- that. For the 30 people that watch this. <laughs> if we're lucky. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. Goes. He scored, and I can't remember who scored the other goal for uh, Dortmund, but ended 3-1. Their group, like I said, Dortmund are on 10 points. They're the only one safe now. PSG on 7, Newcastle on 5, Milan on 5. Those three teams, PSG, Newcastle, Milan... Or have a chance to make it. If what PSG is a couple of points separating all three? Two points. Yeah. So if PSG and, and Newcastle and Milan are on five, PSG are on seven. If PSG don't make the next round. Round of 16. There's got to be some fucking ass there. Yeah. Something's got to yeah. happen. Don't, uh, th- Mbappe gone. He has to leave. He's leaving. He has to leave. You're wasting your time there. He has to leave. Honestly, he's wasting you wanna, time. You want to become a Ballon d'Or contender? Winner, yeah, or contender. Or oh, winner? He has to leave it. Leave. He has to leave. Leave. Yeah, At the rate he's going, he's never going to get Ballon d'Or because Haaland's just going to keep fucking it. 100%. 100%. Yeah, look, he's a freak. But it's, and then Bellingham, it's look, Bellingham made the move and look at him. Bro. That's what he has to move. Bro. The, Mbappe has to move. All right, move on to Barca 2, Porto 1. Like you were telling me, both both Jao scored. Both Jao scored. Cancelo scored that goal like a fucking winger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cuts yeah. it onto his right. Off his head. Scores Off, a beautiful I, goal. The way he left City. Yeah. Played for Bayern Munich, did not link up with Bayern at all. Yeah. Hated his life. Mm. Went to Barca like he's been playing there for centuries. Yeah. Hundreds of years. The way he's linked up with the Barca players is insane. He's good. He's very it's good. It's insane. And he tries. Yeah. Yeah. So you can tell this is his prime. He's popping off. Coming yeah, back. he's popping off. Porto scored an equalizer and then Pepe. Uh, no, it wasn't Pepe. Pepe. No, it wasn't. It was Pepe. No, I'll check it right now. It was Pepe. There is no way it was I Pepe. guarantee I put, might put your, bet your house on it. Have my house. <laughs> <laughs> it was Pepe. It was Pepe, that's right. All right. So I watched the highlights. I didn't yeah, see that. Old bastard. All right, so Pepe scored in the 30th minute. Yes, and then and then Cancelo scored in the 32nd. And then in the 57th minute, Joe Felix comes in. He's a freak. Scores, Cancelo gets the assist. Yeah, but he's, I feel like he's underappreciated. Joe Felix, uh, Felix, Felix, yeah, he's very underappreciated. I really do because I think he's such a good player. I watched him when he first started playing for Atletico. Yeah, and his first, his debut his debut he scored a goal, and I don't, I don't forget it. He celebrated with his younger brother that was the the ball boy. Oh, seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His younger brother was ball boy, and the way he jumped on his brother was the fucking best. Yeah, like I picture both my sons playing in the, in, <laughs> in, in the top. <laughs> Watch. They don't know the dance. <laughs> I feel sorry for my sons, the poor bastard. Okay. But anyway, that's off topic. But he's so underappreciated. Yeah, he he's is. not talked about enough. No, he's not. He's, and the, he's so good. He's the reason why Chelsea stayed in the league. Yeah, last I swear season. to God. Yeah. His goal won him that yeah. game, which got him out yeah. of the relegation scrap. Yeah. All right. And then, so yeah, Barcelona winning 2 1. Young Boys beating Red Star Belgrade 2 0. Shakhtar beating Antwerp 1 0. Final Atletico Madrid 3 1. Atletico Madrid was this. Fucking simple as you like. Yeah. I can't believe they conceded, but it was in Turkey. 
which is also always rough. It's fucked. Always rough. And Turkish being a United fan, fucked. we fucking know this. That's fucked. We're we gonna, know this. We're going to get anal. Have faith, all right? And Lazio beating Celtic 2-0. Yeah, we're going to go through the stages, all the group stage, uh, all the, sorry, the table, right? Yeah. All the groups and then see who's in, who's out okay. and what's going to happen there. Let's, I wanna, I'm going to tell you group A, go through them and then tell me who do you think is going to make it out of that and who's going to drop out. So you got Bayern on 12 points. They've, they've, made, they've it. made it. They've made it. Copenhagen. Well yeah. <laughs> He's the guy that talks about NRL and loves Roosters. Cop Copenhagen on four, Galatasaray on four, Manchester United on three. Who makes it out with Bayern Munich? Is that even a question? Who makes it out? Are they Copenhagen? <laughs> what are they, what, what, whatever the fuck they're Copenhagen. called. Copenhagen? Copenhagen or Galatasaray? No, you can't say that. Because I love my team. I'm telling you, I back my team on their shit days and their best days. I've watched them on their high. And I'm watching them on their low. They're not going to beat Galatasaray at home. Well, give a score Tessera. prediction for tonight. It's oh, this, hey, this is tonight, 4.40 in the morning. Yeah, this will come out after the game. I say 2-1. 2-1 Galatasaray? Yeah. I get 3-0 United. Let's fucking go. I fucking wish. 3-0 United. All right. hey, and Ganacha scores? Uh, I don't know, but 3-0. I, I don't know who's scoring. <laughs> scoring I don't know who's scoring. 3-0. So you think, you think Man United won't make it through? I don't think it's so. It's going to be hard. Winning it's Europa League for but them. It's Europa League for them. Fuck, I hope not, because we move on to the next group, right? Arsenal, they made it clear. They're yeah, through yeah. Group B. you got PSV on five, Lens on five, and Sevilla on two. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to get Europa. They're going to come to Europa League with no, us. They love us. And just bro. wait for us. They fucking love us. Eddie Reckon makes it out of this group, because Sevilla's out. They can't make I'm it. PSV, Arsenal. PSV, Arsenal. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, Sevilla can make it, but it's going to be rough. It's uh, it's Arsenal PSV. Yeah, all right. What's that uh, guy? Uh, Simmons, Xavi Simmons. Yeah. Good guy. Good player. Very good player. Big loss for PSG. Yeah. Very big player. Very very good player. Wow. Yeah. So he. Have you seen his highlight reel? He's a gun. Because the guy's a freak. He's fucked. He reminds me a lot of Nkunku, just like a lighter on his feet. He's bro. He moves around like a fucking butterfly. Yeah, he's a free, oh, his feet are so light. The guy he's moves so and glides around. He's the field. so good. Beautiful to watch. Group C, you got Real Madrid on twelve. They're through. Napoli on seven. They're through. Braga and Union Berlin. Yes. Yeah, out. Farmers group. Yeah, that was just uh, here. Napoli, Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coast. All right. Group D. Sociedad on ten points. Inter Milan on ten points. Salzburg and Benfica. Salzburg are on three points. Benfica have won a single game. This campaign, so so I feel bad for Benfica. I do only because of Demiria. I do too. Oh, why do you like Demiria? I love Demiria. I think he's a good player. I think he's a fuckwit human. He is All a right? fuckwit human. Yeah, I can't stand him. All right, so so see that and Inter Milan go through. So yeah, fuck yeah. you, but, uh, what's his name? Zabri Demiria, yeah. suck a dick. Because <laughs> he played well for United. He did when he on at the, the big beginning games. at on the, the beginning, big, beginning. Even before the big his game. house got ran through. Yeah, whoever ran through his house is a fuck. You're group. a fucking grunt. Ruined the player. Mend them. They really swear to God they mend them. <laughs> that was him, not me. Fuck, he's over. <laughs> All right, Atletico Madrid. They're on eleven points. They're through. Yeah, Lazio on ten. They're through. Feyenoord and Celtic out. Okay, Celtic also. They've got a single point from one draw. They have won a single game under Brendan Rodgers in the Champions League this season. Yeah. And was it Ainge? Yes. And he won them the league. He won them the league. Invincibles. Invincibles. Invincible season. Had an invincible season with him. You know, I repeated what you said. Yeah. Help me out, manager. <laughs> 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 All right. So then Group F, Dortmund, like we spoke about. Dortmund, PSG. So Dortmund on 10, PSG on 7, Newcastle 5, Milan 5. Bo Dortmund is the only team that are going to make They're it gonna 100%. Make it. PSG has to win the next game. Yes. To make it. Yes. If they lose, they're out. Yes. And bro. It's the same thing for the next two. Yeah. It's a must win and it has to go through. It's a everyone. fucked group. It's a shit group. That is the group of death. When I seen that group, I'm like, fuck. H whoever but I thought group? I thought looking at that group PSG were the ones that are gonna make a clear and it's a battle for second. Ah, Dortmund's fucked. Uh, Dortmund's fucked, but PSG are fucking. And then you got fucking Milan and <laughs> Newcastle. Yeah. Fuck. It's a fucked group. I would love Newcastle to make it. Me too. I would love I honestly would. Newcastle to make it. Yeah, I honestly would. I really would love it, but I reckon PSG will. I reckon PSG, because you know, a point should be enough for them to make it through. All right. Group G, you got Man City, 15 points. They fucking walked it, right? Red Bull Leipzig got nine. They were kicking it. The only team they lost to this season was Man City in yeah, the Champions League. Yeah. Young Boys on four. Red Star Belgrade on one. They're both out. Group H, you got Barcelona, 12 points. Yeah, they're definitely in. They're, 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 they've an qualified. Yeah, it's an no-brainer. FC Porto are on nine points. Shakhtar are on nine points. 
Antwerp are on zero. So FC Porto and Shakhtar both have a chance to make it. Who's uh, FC Porto versus next? So yeah, after a quick check. Yep. 14th of December, you're saying? Yeah. Shakhtar, will be Shakhtar versus Porto. Porto. The winner of that goes through. That's big games for both them teams. Even a big game is uh, Dortmund versus PSG. 100%. Because if Dortmund PSG can beat them. Win. If Dortmund can beat them. And Newcastle win. Or Milan win. So whoever wins out of Newcastle or Milan, Dortmund get the victory. They make a throw against PSG. PSG yeah. Something has to happen. A huge. That's huge. I don't think the oil money is working for him. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. It really isn't. It's not working. All right. Come to United. Sign. Buy United. How will? Tadol. But you need to pay like a thousand million billion. That's fine. Uh, you know, they keep up in the price. Well, if they fucking, fucking took, they sold themselves to fucking Sheikh Jassim. Yeah, it would have been great. motherfuckers. Anyway. But yeah, but anyway <laughs> he's buying Liverpool now. Yeah, he's he's sort of going to fuck it. you for United. He's going to do it. But let's see. Let's see. Hopefully he doesn't. All right. For Shakhtar, this is huge. A team from Ukraine. Yeah. For them to make it through will be fucking huge. It'll be insane. It'll be fucking huge. It'll be insane. It'll be insane. I really do hope they do. I hope so. But too. I love FC Porto as well. Same. So it's like, fuck. But whatever happens there is going to be a cracker story. I don't story. mind whatever happens happens. Yeah, it's going to be a cracker story. All I know is going to be a fuck game. Yeah. And then tonight... Everything's on the line. Tonight, who do you have tonight playing in the Champions League? United's playing. you got Galatasaray versus United. We've got Copenhagen versus Bayern. So we need Bayern to beat Copenhagen or we're fucked. That's going to happen. Bayern has to beat Copenhagen. That's going to happen. Yeah, but it wouldn't surprise me if Bayern is going to... Score, score, <laughs> score a cheeky one. All right. So we need Bayern to win and we need to beat... Uh, um, Galatasaray, Inshallah, bro. Sevilla, PSG, Arsenal, Lens, Real Madrid, Napoli. So in Group C, that's the top two going ahead, yeah, yeah. going against each other. Braga, Union Berlin, Benfica, Inter Milan, Real Sociedad, Salzburg. That will finish uh, game week five of the Champions yeah. League. Okay, one game week to go. One more game. Before the group stages are done. And I just hope United make it through. Because we do have that leading goal scorer right now. Holland is I wish. leading I goal wish scorer in the Champions through. League. If they go through... I'm taking you out for dinner. Cracked. Straight out I am. Cracked. Yeah, I'm telling you, if they go through. I really want them to go through, man. Oh, bro, I'll take you out. Not, not as a bet. <laughs> out of my happiness. <laughs> out of celebration. These cunts, I'm telling you, they dictate my life. They do For nine me. and a half months of them playing. You know what this should go? Like, listen, cuz we both United in fans. Any competition. And Bulldogs fans. It's I great. remember you said something in the other podcast. Bulldogs are here, yeah, United yeah, are here, yeah, yeah, and they're yeah. both fucking me. Like yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's fucked. Anyway, so that's the wrap up. Let's wrap it up. How was your first episode? Cracker. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cracker. All right, we did go over way over time, more than I expected. I but we're gonna have to crop that out. We'll, uh, you know, we'll get better with time. Go find that yeah. uh, socials in the description below: Instagram, TikTok, all down there. We have been very active on both. So make sure you follow us down there. Like this video, share it with your friends and family. Tell us what you think of all the shit we spoke today. Right? If you disagree with anything that we said, if you want to tell us how bad United are, let us know. Because we just scrapped that Amy yeah. stuff. I was just maybe I'm, just, I'm running his dick a bit too hard. <laughs> no, get him. No, no, get no. him. Come on. All right. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, video should drop next. This video comes out on Thursday. Uh, video with Maui and Bill will drop on. Oh no, Bill on, is on, on holiday, so I think Carl's gonna be back on. He's going to rape me. All right. Carl's going to be back on. So, yeah, be, be sure to check in for that. All right, hey, put it on Tuesday. my brother, Carl. All right. We'll see you next week. Later. Peace. Peace. Take him in the face, salute.